Alright, so now we are in the coast of France with uh, now it's 29 degrees and we are in this uh, beautiful place full of dunes and forests, pine forests and uh, the sea. So we are here with uh, Mr. Egg. That's your name, eh? Yes. So Mr. Egg is uh, traveling uh, around the world. He said in a bicycle. That is unbelievable. In a bicycle. Yes. So Mr. Egg, uh, are you uh, you have a motor or something in the bicycle? No. Okay, so uh, let me see. Uh, so, since when are you doing these uh, uh, trips uh, in the bicycle, uh, uh, Mr. Ake? Uh, around 15 years. All right, so 15 years uh, in a bicycle. Wow, that's a lot of uh, time and a lot of places. I imagine uh, you have been around the world and all this. Uh, so, tell me something about the... The place that you have been, now we are in the coast of France, uh, where you have been, uh, where you have been before? I've been in uh, north of France, in the east of France, and in the south of France, and also, also in the center of France. Uh, yeah, all right, but I mean, uh, have you been in uh, other, uh, like, uh, other places than France, other countries than France? Uh, I mean, uh, like, uh, I don't know, uh, tell me, uh, have you been in other countries? Yes, I've been in uh, Monaco and Andorra and uh, uh, Bretagne and the Pays Vasque and the Pays Occitan and uh, mm, Paris. Yeah, but, uh, so uh, we have a little bit of under uh, misunderstanding here. Uh, Mr. Ake doesn't understand a very good English, I guess, and uh, he don't uh, answer the question. I mean, Mr. Ake, uh, please pay attention. Uh, countries, another countries in the world, in, uh, uh, a part of France, I mean not France, but other countries. Have you been in other countries in these uh, last uh, 15 uh, years? Oh, yes, I've been in, uh, uh, I've been in uh, uh, Germany and uh, uh, France also now, <laughs> and uh, Spain and France, and uh, Italy, and uh, Austria, and uh, uh, Swiss, Roland, uh, and uh, uh, I also was uh, before, last year before, I was in uh, Finland, and Sweden, and Denmark, uh, and uh, before, before that, I was in uh, China with my friends, another friends. We were in a bicycle together, but uh, I was, uh, uh, went uh, alone to Tibet to bike. Oh, so you were in Tibet, in the, in the high mountains. Oh, wow, that's very, really, really impressed, uh, ladies and gentlemen. This man, this man, this tiny little piece of um, man with his bicycle, he was in Tibet, in this, wow, in this big place. So tell me something about Tibet. Uh, did you like it? Uh, yes, I like it. I, I was very happy there. I want to, I want to become a, a monk, a monk, a Buddhist monk, but uh, Buddhist people told me, for me it's not possible, because I am too thin. And Buddhist monks are very fat. So, I, I also I dress uh, usually with a black and uh, green, and the Buddhist monk dress with a, a dark red, you know. So it was not possible for me uh, to become a totally monk. So I start to meditate by myself when I was going up the mountains with my bicycle and my dog. Wow, did you have a dog also? Yeah, I have a little dog, uh, very little, who also want to become a monk, but he didn't, couldn't, and uh, he finally didn't. So, I went to Tibet, I met a lot of people, foreigners also, and uh, Chinese also, and uh, I, I, I 
happen now eight months they are traveling and uh, one month uh, in a half uh, in Lhasa and uh, other places uh, around uh, camping and usually camping like always you were camping in uh, in uh, Tibet it's really really cold there and it's really high how did you manage to to survive in this uh, uh, rough areas of the world well I was uh, prepare myself for a long time psychologically mentally physically uh, everything and I I survived yes and uh, I didn't eat my dog I was very hungry but I didn't eat my dog because I want to become a monk and uh, the monk don't eat, eat dog so and then I went back to China and before that I uh, I, uh, I, uh, I I was in Russia and I was in uh, Georgia and uh, Turkey and uh, many years before uh, I was in South America with all my with, uh, all the countries of South America except the Guyanas and uh, in the Caribbean Ocean or the sea, the Caribbean Sea, and also Central America, all the countries of Central America, North America. Also, I was in Canada, where I learned French in Montreal. And uh, then, uh, sorry. Well, that was the interview. Uh, thank you, Mr. Aik. That was the interview with Mr. Aik, uh, a famous uh, celebrity. Well, no, not so famous, but. Uh, a big, uh, well, not so big, but, uh, well, uh, important, uh, uh, okay, um, let's say uh, a simple man who is traveling around the world in his uh, bicycle, who uh, he repaired himself and uh, managed to uh, yeah, do a lot of things and uh, go every place. So, uh, I hope you are enjoying this uh, conversation with Mr. Eich, and the next week uh, we have another interview with uh, one of the most famous uh, uh, every week, uh, every uh, Wednesday, Wednesday, we have this interview with the famous people in the world. And next week will be uh, Mr. Pachuma. Yeah, Mr. Pachuma has been uh, uh, digging a hole in uh, Ecuador for about uh, 20 years, and uh, he has a lot of uh, big story to uh, tell us. So thanks for listening, and uh, see you next week at the same time at the same, uh, the different place, sorry, uh, and uh, with the interview with the most, uh, uh, the most. Uh, 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 Okay, the most, with the most, uh, around the world. See you.